today my daughter's out of daycare and so we um, have the morning to come and, and spend a little time outside. We're just going to the other side of the bank and collecting some plant samples for our ecology project. I'm walking across because I parked across and I'm moving my car to the res halls right now. <laughs> and I came along for the ride. It's a nice view, so I yeah. figured why not. <laughs> because I'm retired, I like going over to the campus to see what the young people are up to or just to get a cup of joe. I mean, I'll walk on it all the time. We're taking pictures, taking videos, taking video right now on here. Runners that I coach have uh, used the bridge. They run a route where they come from way down, four miles away, five miles away, over the bridge, the other side. Sometimes I actually Google this bridge and like see like when it was built, I guess, and I'm just like looking like this was like nothing at no, all. So I was kind of just wanting to look like what did this look like before, and it was like absolutely nothing. So just start off by telling me your, your name and uh, what it is that you do. Oh, my name is Bobby. I live about two miles from here. I walk on the bike trail and this uh, bridge is a good connection for me to lead me to Sacred State University. When I go there, I go there to explore the library. Okay. I listen to the DVDs and audiobooks, and, and I'm blind. I love to get a, how it brings me right on top of the river to get to say good morning. When I commute back and forth, I intentionally selected a place to live that was just right across the river from campus so I could use the bridge regularly. This is a connector for me. I literally live a quarter of a mile that way. It takes 15 minutes door to door to go from my condo to my classroom. It's really amazing, like uh, standing on this we feel like I, mean, I, I could enjoy the beauty of the river, the uh, beauty of the nature, so I mean most of the days since I've moved to Sacramento I spend my time here enjoying the beauty of the nature, so that's all. For me it is really good, I love the river and I uh, gotta love the bridge man. How come? Uh, because I'm not with Trump, we don't build walls in California, we build bridges. Hey, this is one of my questions. Walls or bridges? Bridges. All right. Thank you. All right. All right, Have a good care. day, guys. You take care. Thank now. you so much. All right. Well, it's, it's, it's a uh, suspension bridge. Uh, we don't have a suspension bridge other than this one here. It looks like the, um, the Golden Gate for sure. Because I know it's like modeled after it, right? Yeah. It's real obvious to people that have seen the Golden Gate that there's a definite relationship there. It, it, there's an individuality to it. There's some artistry to it. So it's, it's good to see something that is a uh, if not unique, at least expressive and monumental and that uh, gets people's attention, gets them to think about things. I'd probably say it's a, it's a big steel bridge, definitely sturdy. I just think that uh, the engineering, the beauty behind a suspension bridge is something for people to really appreciate uh, in terms of engineering, um, the skill that went into uh, to making it. It's unique. It gets kind of scary sometimes because you can feel it move. So. Oh, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. 
So it, it has a, an arc to it that's associated with that suspension. Um, I would probably say like a mini Golden Gate Bridge. But it's even better because it's in Sacramento. So. I think it stands out in all the right ways, <laughs> if that makes sense. I've been walking on it for the last two and a half, three years now to get to class. It's kind of like what I associate like school and my education with because it's it's a part of my daily routine when it comes to coming to school. As students, we spend so much time in rooms and classrooms that we forget that there's this whole beautiful world outside. Before I go to class, I kind of want to be calm, and I like how you, know, you just walk down here, and you're not walking past a bunch of cars going really fast. Oh, so like when I'm stressed out about school or something, like I just like sitting down next to like water and just like the way the water moves calms me down because it reminds you that life doesn't have to go so fast. Like it's, it's slow, you know, just in your own time. Yeah. Just like more water, I guess. It took me a, a little while to figure out why, if it was on the east side of campus, it was called the Guy West Bridge and figured out who Guy West was. No, I don't know who Guy West was, no, no. I should, but I don't. I would have to acknowledge not being very familiar with Guy himself. Guy West. I actually do not know who Guy West is. I, I have a feeling he's some famous person who's associated with Sac State. I know that he was the first mayor of Sacramento, or no, the first president of, the, of Sac State. I was an orientation leader and I just did really bad right now because I just said <laughs> it was the first mayor. <laughs> was it the first president, right? Yeah, he was the first um, president of Sacramento State University. I know he was the president now. <laughs> I don't know much about him other than that he was responsible in part for building the physical infrastructure of the campus in a large degree, planting the trees and you know making some fairly momentous decisions. Which is uh, itself is a state of art. It's quite a work, and the cable and the railing and the river itself is beautiful. And this is a quite natural scenario. 